Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Welcome back from Fox News. Escalate to de-escalate. Experts say Putin's strategy may be to get more aggressive in war on Ukraine. Putin may deploy more brutal tactics on the ground, cyber attacks against the West. I guess it's a strategy called escalate to de-escalate. In other words, they'll make it so horrible that the other side will, will, will bring it down. We'll have to see. It's, um, I'm not a war expert. I'm not a military expert. It makes sense, though. Let's read on. As Russia's war on Ukraine continues, some experts warn Russia might escalate the conflict further in Ukraine or against the Western nations supporting it with the goal of forcing those nations to capitulate to its demands. I still think the way to go, and I wouldn't know how to do it. That's why they pay those guys the big bucks and not me. It's just somehow through back channels, get a message to Putin and say, listen, let's figure out a way, or here's a way we figure it out for you to not lose face and stop this whole thing. I don't know. Or maybe he just won't listen, even if he did. I really don't know. This strategy, former Defense Intelligence Agency officer, Rebecca Koffler told Fox News is called Escalate to De-Escalate. It has roots in Russia's planning for a war against the United States, Koffler said, but similar thinking is now standard throughout Russia's military planning. During a theoretical war with the United States, Koffler said Russia would strike first by popping a low-yield tactical nuke, thinking it was going to be such a psychological shock that the conflict would end. In the context of the Ukrainian war, that might mean Russia would move to flatten cities like Kiev with traditional weapons as long as Ukrainians continue to resist their invasion. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's incredible, incredibly high levels steak of chicken. <laughs> and, and it's costing lots of lives and disrupting millions more. It's, um, it's, it's crazy. I, I don't know what to make of this. I don't see Putin's strategy. I really and truly don't. Unless he just incredibly underestimated the Ukraine military and their resolve. Russian President Vladimir Putin may also use mercenaries to go after Russian leaders, commit progressively worse autocracies against civilians, or even use a nuclear-capable missile arm with a conventional warhead. The latter move would be aimed at confusing Western countries and showing Putin's resolve to win the war. Koffler also said Putin's increase in Russia's nuclear threat level may be part of a strategy to intimidate Ukraine's Western allies and that Russia may wage a cyber warfare campaign against the West. Well, that's expected, I think. All this would be the purpose of breaking the will of Ukraine and the West until they capitulate to Russian demands and de-escalate. It's a dangerous game. They believe that the pressure on our population will cause the Biden administration to back out and put pressure on Zelensky and say, you need to give up. He believes the American people have a low threshold of tolerance for inconveniences, especially for something like Ukraine. Well, in part, that's true because the American people don't see this as a threat to them, our way of life or our country. And technically, that's true. And after the giant F up, in Afghanistan, they don't want any more foreign wars with no end in sight, with no plan, and having the American people believe it's in our best interest. It certainly is in Europe's best interest. There's no question. That's why there's NATO. But to put American ground troops, no, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's what the term means, she said. He escalates, we de-escalate. Former senior official James Anderson told Fox News he believes there's a real potential for escalation in the Ukraine war, either by design or by accident. Anderson said he was very possible in cyberspace. Yeah, I mean, God only knows what can happen. There is a real danger of escalation given what he's already done invading a sovereign nation. I think this is well within the realm of possibility. The potential for Russian cyber attacks against the U.S. and its allies creates kind of an added level of uncertainty in the crisis. You're going you're gonna to get that with or without war. 
that would be part of the strategy to try every trick in the book to try to demoralize the West. It would also include short-lived ceasefires and on-and-off diplomacy aimed at lowering morale. Former CIA station chief Dan Hoffman, however, said he's not so sure Putin is following a typical escalate-de-escalate playbook. It's not quite so simple as stick it in the traditional basket of escalate-de-escalate, Hoffman said. He did that by putting 190,000 troops on the border. He could have de-escalated and got everything he wanted pretty much. He didn't do it. There is no de-escalation. Ukraine is fighting for their freedom. Where are we going to de-escalate? What would you like to do? us to do, Hoffman said. De-escalation is on him. He's got to stop the invasion. That's true. When you're the one, when you're the aggressor, when you're the one with, oh, just a huge number of armed forces, you're the one that has to de-escalate. Those guys that are defending, and women that are defending Ukraine right now, military and otherwise, would love to stop. But they'll only stop when the other side says okay, because they're on Ukrainian soil. That's the difference. We've mounted massive economic measures against them. We're, prov- we're providing military assistance to the Ukrainians. We can't stop that. Hoffman said, so the issue is for the Biden administration to give him an off-ramp that de-escalates it for him. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Go through back channels, figure out a way, and if you don't have smart enough people in the Biden administration to figure it out, then get some. Reach across the aisle. Oh, God forbid. You might have somebody that actually is a Republican that might have a good idea, and they won't listen to him. Find a way for Putin to save face. That's all he really cares about right now. Save face and de-escalate this whole thing. They got smart enough people. They're all around. You just got to ask. It's up to them to figure that out. That's right. This is a wickedly complex challenge. You convince Russia this war is not worth fighting. Absolutely. And at the same time, you have him save face. He's an authoritarian egotist. All he cares about, if he just does not successful, it doesn't tarnish him or Russia, and he gets a safe face, and he can use his propaganda machine to make clean up the rest. Are they going to find a way? I don't know. We'll have to see. But this is going to escalate, and it's going to be horrendous. Kiev and other cities in Ukraine are ancient cities. And there's a lot of historical things there, religious artifacts. Not that it goes above human life, but some things can't be replaced. Once you wipe out the civilization, you learn from history, it's tough to put the pieces back together. So what will happen? I think he's going to push harder for four, five, six days is my guess. And then reassess the situation. As long as the West or the Biden administration can find a way for him to back off and save face, I'm afraid this is going to get worse and worse. Are nuclear weapons going to be used? Probably not. But the odds of that happening aren't zero. And that scares the hell out of everybody. We'll see how far this game of chicken goes. Until the next time, goodbye. And good luck.